permitting process, the pipelining process, has just been so politicized. You can talk to our Oklahoma companies here that have to deal with this every single day. So I've testified it before Congress on behalf of this industry. And I, this, is, this is kind of my speech to the Washington, D.C. crowd. We're, we're so proud of our oil and gas industry in Oklahoma. We're number six in oil production, number four in natural gas production. But here's what will blow their minds. We're number two in wind energy production, okay? I signed an MOU with the governor of Arkansas and Louisiana to lean into hydrogen. We're not afraid of competition. We're not afraid of an all of the above approach. But you're fooling yourself if you think you can bury your head in the sand and think that we don't need oil and gas. And their solution is to, to buy oil from Russia. Uh, but here's the problem. When you choke off supply and demand is the same, prices are going to go up. And that means prices not just at the pump, but prices at the grocery store and prices everywhere. I, I was just at an event earlier and a lady comes up to me and shows me, a, it was actually a bill from Claremore. Hopefully there's nobody here from Claremore in the city department, but she showed me the, her utility bill. And it had a $116 fuel charge on that bill. $116, she said, I can't afford this, Governor. Her bill was $259 and she had a $116 million fuel bill. So, and then you think about what's happening in DC right now. They're doubling down. They just passed a $740 billion, what they called Inflation Redu Reduction Act. Well, how do you reduce inflation when they're actually going to be taxing more oil? It's going to cost them. It's going to make things cost. They put $80 billion of that bill was to hire 87,000 new IRS agents with the goal to try to extract $400 billion from Americans. And we're fooling ourselves if we think that's only going to come from the billionaires. There's 700 reality now. Uh, there was a... a family man that I talked about in the state of the state that after 15 years of, of faithful service did not get the help that he needed and ended up taking his own life. And so this is a peer-to-peer -peer network that we just set up for all first responders across the state. It's one of the first in the nation. We also just set up, this is a great audience to, to let you know, you can dial 988. Please share that with everyone. 988. It's answered 24